Now, multi-text is just like text plus, but it allows you to add different layers or different iterations of text all within one layer on your timeline. So let's check this out. So I'm gonna make this say sub, because that's what you're gonna do right now. You're gonna sub to me from watching this video. Uh, let's say I wanna add another one. I want this one to be point. So here we go. We have another uh, text iteration right here. It looks like they're, they're grouped in layers here, like. Okay, so to move each instance or each layer of point text, you have to be in the fusion overlay and then you can move each particular one. So now let's say I wanna do text box. Now text box is really neat because check this out. Uh, you get this box and your text wraps inside the box. So watch, I have all of this example text here. This is just a bunch of nonsense, right? But I can adjust the box for the, for the boundaries of the text. That is super cool. That is something that uh, apparently a lot of people have been asking for in Resolve for a very long time. So. I'm, I'm jazzed to see this. I think I'm gonna make a lot of use out of this uh, instead of having to do this in Fusion. The next one that I wanna show you in the multi-text is circle layout here. So when you press this, you automatically get text uh, that forms in the shape of a circle. So let's check it. So this one just says comment. Uh, can, how do we, can we move like the shape of the circle? Is that something we could do or is it just stay this way? As with your regular controls, you get like the normal text controls, you know, this is after all just text plus, so you get the fusion based controls. Oh, okay, here we go. So under layout, you get a little bit of uh, controls here, type circle, text box, I see. Okay, cool. This is the first time I'm using this. I'm discovering these tools for the very first time. So, but I'm, I'm really stoked to be able to see like what we're gonna be able to do with this. This is, this is really neat.